everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to do this video because I finally get to show you all of the products that I picked up in a recent Nordstrom haul. I've been teasing you guys on Instagram, showing you pictures and not really telling you what was on my eyes or what was on my lips because I wanted to save it for this video and show you swatches and things like that. So if you're interested in seeing everything I picked up in a recent Nordstrom beauty haul, then please keep on watching. Before I get started, I wanna let you know that because of your support of me and my channel, I was able to partner with Nordstrom on this video. This was a no-brainer partnership for me because I love shopping at Nordstrom. My local Nordstrom in here in Las Vegas, the beauty department is going under a major reconstruction right now. I'm sure it's going to be beautiful once it's done, but it's been sort of torturous not being able to go in there and have everything right there. It's been kind of difficult to navigate, but I've been ordering a lot online and they do offer free shipping and free returns. And another thing that's great about shopping at Nordstrom for beauty, I've always felt is that First of all, they will give you samples. Not every store will give you samples, they, and they don't give you attitude about it either because I'm sure some of you have experienced this as well. You go into certain stores, you ask for a sample of foundation, and they kind of are, you know, maybe give you a little bit of an attitude about it, but not at Nordstrom. I have never had anybody give me a problem when I've asked for a sample. They also have beauty advisors that are actually knowledgeable. You go in there and you can get assistance in foundation matching, picking out the right lip color. And you can also go in there and get a 100% complimentary, no pressure makeover. So now through December, Nordstrom is having their fall beauty trend event at different stores and they're different dates. So you'll have to go to the Nordstrom website to look up your closest store to attend one of the events. Some of the stores are going to have runway shows. They're going to have specialists doing demos. You'll get a great goodie bag for attending. And then they also have upcoming in November, their mascara madness, where you can buy two mascaras and get one for free. So recently I have been dipping my toe into the Tom Ford Beauty water. I started with a lipstick. I actually put it in a recent favorites video. It's the matte lipstick in first time. I just love that color. And then a couple weeks ago I bought Indian Rose. But through this partnership with Nordstrom, I was lucky enough to be able to try a couple more things. I definitely went over my monetary allotment, but that's okay. I figured if I'm going in, I am going in all the way and some other things that I've been wanting to try. So let's start with the beauties I picked up from Tom Ford. Nordstrom was one of the first stores to have the new fall eyeshadow quads. This one is called Virgin Orchid and it's what I'm wearing on my eyes right now and it is stunning. So this is what I have on my eyes right now. I used the, I used all the colors actually. I used the top right corner as my base shade. And then I used the darkest shade, the stunning aubergine on my outer corners. And then I used the bottom left kind of silvery shade, silvery gray shade. I used that in between the lid shade and the outer corner shade. And then I used the upper left shade, applied that to my tear duct and just under the arch of my brow. So here are the swatches of Virgin Orchid. And I just wanna mention, although it's gonna be no surprise to anyone, that the Tom Ford packaging is very luxe. You get this really nice brown pouch to keep your palette safe, and it has the words Tom Ford embossed on it. Next is the Fiber Brow Gel. I have been wanting this for a while. I've seen other people talk about it and use it on social media, on YouTube. I had been using and raving about this brow gel from Maybelline. I think it's called Brow Precise, and I loved it, but it has been discontinued in the blonde shade and the other shades just don't work for me. I don't know why they would discontinue the blonde. And I did have a couple of issues with it. I mean, I loved the price. However, I didn't like how large the applicator was and it tended to get a lot of product on my lid. I mean, not on my lid, um, 
like above my brow because it does have such a large applicator. And lately I have been on a mission to get a more natural looking brow, especially towards the front. And I like that kind of spiked up bushier looking brow, but mine are so sparse and so blonde. It's really hard for me to achieve that. But this is fantastic. I love the tiny brush on it. I am using the blonde shade and I think it's perfect. It doesn't leave you with crunchy brows. It gives you that kind of fluffier, more spiked up brow look if that's what you like because it has those fibers. So it builds the brow versus just setting the brow. And that's what I'm looking for, more of a built up brow. Moving on to blush, I have found my new Holy Grail. This blush in the shade Inhibition, I'm wearing it right now. It is the creamiest, formula I have ever tried. It's pigmented, but it's not so pigmented where you touch the product and then you touch your cheek and you've got already too much color. This is buildable and it's just enough. And I can tell you with certainty that it goes with any makeup look. Smoky eyes, pale lip, naked eye, red lip. This is going to work. This is a must have. All right, now I want to show you some lip products. I posted a photo on Instagram the other day and so many people were asking me what was on my lips and I said you're gonna have to wait. I will show you soon and that color was this matte liquid lipstick in the shade Universal Appeal. I wasn't sure about this color when I saw it online but I took a chance on it and it is beautiful. I was worried it would be too orangey because some photos I was seeing it looked pretty orange but it's not at all. It has a doe foot applicator. It applies really smoothly and it's opaque. It doesn't leave streaks on your lips. It is a matte liquid lipstick, which I know a lot of people don't love because they find them to be drying. And this one, I'll, I have to say in all honesty, it is not nearly as drying feeling on the lips as some others I've tried. It's actually one of the best as far as comfort. I mean, I only have this one color, but this one I can definitely recommend. And I did in that photo, that I posted, I was not wearing a gloss over it, but I decided today that I was going to. I'm going to use this beautiful gloss in the shade Pink Gilt. The color is just so unique and stunning. It's super shiny. This combo is really, really long wearing. I went to lunch wearing this one day and it stayed on incredibly well. It's a little bit more of a sticky feeling gloss, but I don't mind that because I feel like that's what gives it more staying power, but it's not uncomfortable. I've tried lip glosses that were uncomfortable sticky. This is not that. The color, I think, the reason why I got it is because I just think it's so unique. It's a rose pink with some faint shimmer. Just the shimmer kind of makes your lips look fuller. It's not glittery at all. I love the brush applicator and I don't usually love brush applicators, but this one, something about it, it just goes on so nice and smooth. So I've got two more lip colors I wanna show you. This one was purchased in a different haul. It actually wasn't a haul. I just bought the lipstick when I was out shopping. This is Indian Rose. I showed it in another recent video and it's so pretty. It's just the perfect rose color. So this is Indian Rose. And then the last lip product I purchased is this Ultra Shine lip color in Delectable. This is another great everyday lip color. It's a little bit pinker than Indian Rose. So Indian Rose is on top, Delectable Ultra Shine is on the bottom. And then I think you can see a little bit of what's left um, after I tried wiping off the Universal Appeal Matte Liquid. I had never tried the Ultra Shine formula before, so I assumed that it would be pretty sheer. It goes on with the pigment of a traditional cream lipstick. It's just shinier, and I love this for an everyday look. I almost forgot to mention that if you use your Nordstrom credit card on a Tom Ford purchase, you will get this little mini lip color. This is in the shade Scarlet Rouge. I don't often wear red lips, but this one looks beautiful. And it's the perfect tiny size for an evening bag. So as I mentioned earlier, I did end up adding more things to my order. And one of them was this Liverney Velvet Nail Color. I haven't bought a Chanel nail color in a long time, but I was really intrigued by this velvet formula. I 
believe I only saw two colors available, this red shade called Altime and a really dark one. And I thought, again, holiday season coming up, let's try a red. And I'm used to wearing shiny reds, but I thought that in the ad that I saw, the matte looked really chic. And it's just something different that I've never done. And I'm actually really impressed by it. It goes on shiny and then it dries within, I think, 20 or 30 seconds, it dried down to this really pretty matte finish. Now, of course, if you wanted to, you could add a shiny top coat to it, but I think I'm gonna leave it like this. And it didn't even go on streaky. I was concerned that it would go on real streaky, but one coat, it looked great. And then I just kind of touched up the corners because with it being matte, it just made it more obvious where um, the spots are that I missed. So I just went back over those edges and it dried and I'm really happy I got it. Up next is this Master Corrector from Armani. I got it in the shade one. And a lot of you know, I used to work for Giorgio Armani a long, long time ago. It was back in 2005 to 2007. And they did have these at the time. I don't believe they had the Master Correctors. They had the concealers that were in the same type of packaging with these really thin applicators. So at that time, they did not have these color correcting shades. And I've been wanting to try one. I do have another color correcting slash eye cream product that I like, but I just thought, you know, I used to love this concealer, so I wanted to try the corrector. And I will demonstrate this in an upcoming tutorial. It is an extra step, which I know a lot of people don't want to take an extra step of correcting and then concealing, but I have to say that it really does make a difference. I don't think it picks up on camera, but I have a lot of like bluish, purplish on the side of my nose and right here on my tear troughs. I'm sure a lot of you do as well. And I find that when I use a corrector first, it just negates all of that bluish purplish tint. And then I put my concealer on and it's just much more effective and it's just much brighter. And I'm really happy with this. So as I said, I will demonstrate that in an upcoming video. And then finally, I got this Orbe Straight Away Smoothing Blowout Cream. I'm always on the hunt for a good blowout cream. That one that will make my hair easy to round brush because I have very curly hair. I've curled it with a wand today. But, you know, if you watch my channel, sometimes I have straight hair, sometimes it's, it's beach waved, but I always have to blow it out first because it's just really kinky, curly. I don't have those nice curls that some women are lucky enough to have where you can just let it air dry and they're beautiful ringlets and you can just use an anti-frizz product and they look great. That is not how my hair works. So I need a really good blowout cream. I have used this for my last three or four blowouts and I'm really enjoying the results. It does make my hair easier to style. I find that my hair is very, very soft and I love the smell of Orbe product. When the brand first launched, I think it was seven or eight years ago, I was actually working at a, bout a boutique that carried the line and I was really into it for a really long time. And then when I stopped working at that store, I kind of stopped purchasing it, went into some other things. But now that I have picked up this product, I kind of want to try some of the other products again and just see what I think. But for now, I'm starting with this and I'm really happy with that too. So yeah, this haul was a major success. I highly recommend everything I've shown you here today. And if you buy any of these products, of course, I'm gonna have everything linked in the description. But if you buy any of these products and you don't like them, they don't work for you, or you break out from something, that's one of the things that's so great about Nordstrom is that they will take it back. If you have a problem with something that you've purchased, they will take it back. So let me know in the comments what your favorite product is that I hauled. And if you have any other questions about anything I've shown you here today. And if you did enjoy this video, then please give it a thumbs up. You can also follow me on Instagram and Snapchat and Facebook and Twitter. Everything is under the name Risa Does Makeup. Thank you all so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you again very soon.